Hi, this is Deb from Project Life Deb's Way. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just doing a very quick tutorial. A lot of people have been asking how you actually do batch photographs. I print all my own photographs. I have a photographic printer, which of course has beautiful ink. It does a beautiful job with printing. And if you have a photographic printer, um, the ink that they use doesn't fade. And particularly too, is I always tend to use the Kodak um, photo paper because the quality is better. If you buy cheaper um, photographic paper, they do fade. Uh, whereas I found Kodak just doesn't fade. To get to the stage where I am here, I just use Microsoft Publisher, which I use 2007, which was the software version. I do have the new publisher, which is the online version, but I prefer the old one because it doesn't hang, it's a lot quicker. I just find it easier to use, but everyone to their own taste. Now, what I do is I go into File, I open up a new um, thing to do. I go into Blank Pages. I open up an A4 portrait. Now, everybody's computer screen will be different, but how I actually get my sizing is I get my sheet of A4 card. I know for a fact that my computer in the zoom size is 98. Once you have the size correct, it is really easy. And as you can tell, if you measure your paper up, it should measure exactly. Mine probably needs to be 97. So just go up to your zoom and put your 97 in. And I think now you will find, no, it's 98. It definitely is 98 on my computer. And that will fit. So whatever size photograph you now put in into your page is what it prints out at. So it's very easy to do a three by four or whatever because you just have to roll it up. Now I'll go back to the one I had pre-prepared. Now one photograph here I have got, and as you can tell, that is a three by four. So what I have done, I have gone into my Explorer. I have all my photographs open that I want to use. This photograph here, I always copy a second one and pop it up here. The reason being is if I decide, for instance, I would like another photograph, For instance this one here I can actually just drop this in the square and it will come out to a three by four now if I dropped that photograph in without having that there it comes up ginormous and then you have to resize it it's just an easy way if you want three by four photographs to actually do it really quickly so what I tend to do is I just paste a whole pile of these. Now, when I'm doing Project Life, I don't want my photographs to be three by fours because I normally put them on photo mats. So I'm going to make my photographs roughly quarter of an inch smaller. So once again, I'll just for argument's sake, I am going to do this photograph again. And you'll find if I drop that in, 
put one down here. See how this one's slightly smaller. Now, if I get that photograph and drop it into here, see how it's come out the correct size. So it's a really good way if you want your photographs the same size. So what you do is you actually go through your page Drop all the photographs that you want in there. And go to the page. Now you'll normally find you won't fit. Four photographs in. Oh, yes, you will. Because these aren't three by fours, I will actually fit eight photographs all in all. So once you've finished putting all the photographs that you want, you go up to File, Print. Now, when this comes up, always go into Properties and you will come up. You need to change the type of printing that you do to a high standard. So if you're using photo paper glossy, don't do standard, always do high. Um, and that will actually give you a very good quality print. Then you just press print, OK, and it will go to your printer. Once you've printed it up, you will end up with very, very good quality photographs. One other thing too, I have actually found, this is one of the things I have bought for my computer, which is really well worth spending on. When you're doing your own um, printing, a lot of people find that what they see on their screens is not what the same as what their printer will print. If you get something like this, which is a screen calibrator, it actually um, has software, you put it onto your machine, it hangs in front, you do your light uh, white background first, which you adjust, then it goes through all your colors and it will actually calibrate your screen to be true to life colors. Um, it does make it really, really good. As I said, just go onto uh, Google and just put calibrating your monitor and you will find lots of tutorials on what to do. But this is um, an older version of this. Um, I've had mine for at least three, four years and it really does the job. And once you've got one, you'll never need anything else. And it does make a difference to your photographs. Here's an example of some of the photographs that I've actually printed. As you can tell, they're quite a high quality of photograph which is the result you get. And I find this a very economical way of getting your photographs in batches for your project life or anything else.